<laughs> All right, what do you think would happen if the same person weaved in and out of your life for decades? That is the big question in the new series, One Day. It's starring Leo Woodall. You might remember Leo as one of the breakout stars of season two of The White Lotus. Well, now Leo is playing Dexter, a rich playboy, and we see how his life intersects with Emma over 20 years. Take a look. Maybe we should just stay here all week. Not island hop, just stay here. Maybe. Do you think you get bored? Happy then? Okay. We're in. That's all you need. Yeah. Leo, 30 seconds, and the answer is yes. Leo, this is yeah. a romance thing, uh -huh. which we're into, uh -huh. yeah. and it feels like there haven't been rom-coms. I mean, this is funny, but it's also just beautiful, yeah. and about how two fates are kind of mm -hmm. entwined. Mm -hmm. What led you to say yes to this? I mean, I kind of, I just wanted to do it from the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really know the story, and then when I started auditioning, I started reading the book and got very into it, and... Uh, I think it's just a lovely story. Well, and spanning 20 years, it's a lot of time yeah. to, to, you know, to play this character. Mm -hmm. How did it evolve as you were going through? Um, a lot of, like, different makeup and, and hair stuff yeah. and, like, some prosthetics to make me look a little yeah. bit older. Yeah. I tried to, like, do things to make myself older and they sort of stop me because I was doing too much. <laughs> you, like, you don't need to hunch over. You're good. How, how old are you in real life? I'm 27. Not 27. Mm. Okay, um, and is it true that you were stealing your mother's Netflix account? No, we that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you were using it. Yeah, and you know, their yeah. Netflix is cracking down. I don't know I if know. you know about We that. needed yeah. to just tell you because we... we There's your mother. We don't thing. want you to get in trouble with Netflix. <laughs> no, I have to fess up. I was stealing my mother's uh, Netflix Have account. you purchased your own account? I have this since. Week? No, oh, I've become a big boy. And with or without? Netflix. Without ads? Uh, w without, I think. Without. Okay. Well, that's yeah. why you never know. Yeah. Are. No, yeah, yeah, I think um, that. White Lotus was obviously a game changer yeah. for you. Describe how kind of your life changed from the minute you got on that show to like where we sit today. I mean, it changed a lot. I, I, I remember going into that show feeling like a little kind of chipmunk. I was like looking at all these <laughs> stars and um, hoping I'd fit in. I immediately met. Michael Imperioli and like mm. got a bit starstruck and forgot how to speak English and I said <laughs> like did? yeah I was like nice to hire you <laughs> uh, so it didn't go off to a good start but um, and you, oh, yeah. you Jennifer Coolidge mm. who is our girl yeah. you got to you got to be in all of these great scenes with her yeah. were you nervous yeah I mean I was nervous about all of it but but especially her because she's so good at what she does and makes up just like the wackiest <laughs> lines yeah so there was, there was improv going on and you were just like hanging on for the ride yeah she started a scene by saying like i was on the beach today and i saw a squid the size of a wheelbarrow and i was like okay <laughs> what do i go what, with? what do i do with that yeah, what do i yeah. was a, is a lot of that just like that a lot of white lotus yeah yeah mike white like mm -hmm. you know he wants yeah. you to kind of make do stuff your thing. up and She's obviously a master at that. <laughs> um, when you audition, yeah. we hear that you had something from a, a... Well, this is auditioning for your new yeah. show. You had something that almost got in the way of the part. Yeah, I say it was accidental that I had my Cowabunga tattoo. <laughs> there it is Cowabunga. on my neck. Okay. But secretly, I just really liked it, so I kept it on. And, Did you uh, ever think about getting it permanently? A couple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't know. Thankfully, I didn't get it permanent. Are but. you having any FOMO over White Lotus 3 a little bit? So much FOMO. Yes. Yeah. How do you control that? How, How do you control it? You just go into a quiet room and you just flip things over. <laughs> and, yeah. Because you're, and also we had all, a lot of your castmates yes. on. And you really guys did become a family. Yeah. You were because you were in Sicily at a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah. I mean, it was like basically a holiday. There's yeah. so many characters that you get so much time off and uh. like. Oh. You know, it, it, it's Aubrey just... Plaza once came on the show and was in a uh, witch character for the yeah. entire segment. She did not get out of it. She we wouldn't could, break it. We were like, <laughs> we were, it was the weirdest interview we'd ever done. Yeah, we, we were, were like, like Aubrey, Hello? is and it she, you? She's and like, she goes, no, no, it's not. I know, she comes up with some corkers. She is. Um, <laughs> what's happening for Valentine's Day? Anything fun? Uh, I got some, I might have some things up my sleeve oh. for Galentine's Day. Galentine's? Galentine's? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're like, what? Well, is that yeah. all you're going to tell us? I'm just trying to be mysterious. Actually, I've got nothing. <laughs> well, Leo, you are so fun. Thank Leo. you. Thanks for coming to see us. Well, we appreciate lovely it. to talk to you. This is such a good show to get mm. all of your girlfriends around the couch for. Speaking That's, of Galentine, yes. <laughs> One Day is streaming now on Netflix.